Madam Chu. Good night. Madam Chu, would you entertain a motion for adjournment? Yeah, I'll second that. Do we have to move no. the bottom line? Wait, um, the real bottom line. Oh, I'm so sorry. We have to make, <laughs> goodness me. We have to make sure we're... But you know what if we move the bottom line? Okay. okay. Sure. Yeah, right. don't, don't help us now. We're right at the bottom line here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Christy, 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 stay here. Madam, Madam, Madam Chair, I'm I would just, like to I'm make just, a motion. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Because right I just here. want to make sure that we're not. Christy, what do you have You aren't skipping line? anything, Mary Louise, I've, if you move the bottom no. line. No, no, no. I know, but I want to make sure that because I don't remember every little Madam motion. Chair. But you don't have to worry. It's coming if you move the bottom line. Madam Chair. Okay. May I inquire to Christy what she has for the bottom line now? The the lifeguards are still set at one dollar, right? The lifeguards was one of the questions I was going to ask because I don't know if that was ever. Yeah, we voted on that. Okay. Yeah, we voted. Yeah. So let me change that, and then I will give you a bottom Thank you. So let's wait for Christy, so we don't have an argument over what the number is, please. And then the pass outs. Well, we haven't been able to. We added more money to it last year. Yeah. And hopes that more money would attract them. Right. It didn't work. So what did so we do? So we we inquired. Well, even if we double it, will we get them? And the answer from management was not likely. Okay. So it was like, well, why fund it? We're not going to get. So you zero. You zero that, or you put a dollar on? Right? One dollar. One dollar. Yeah. Well, Mr. Pierce's motion for one dollar. Okay. So yeah, it's very difficult. Okay. Right. And when we convene at the public hearing on the twelfth, Christy will have the up-to-date paperwork mm -hmm. to show us the exact after the changes and the gasoline and all that good stuff she will have the accurate bottom line right the delivery session is what day 12th a week from no, no, that's the public that's hearing. That's public, public hearing public hearing i mean the sorry about that i mean public the hearing. deliberative session is february yeah february 4th yeah february 4th yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. I mean about, the uh, public. Well, the reason I'm asking is we're waiting for Christy anyway. I wanted to remind the, the, the new members that we also have a brief budget committee meeting immediately following the deliberative session, which is on February 4th, where we may or may not vote on anything that changes during the course of the deliberative session. Right. Okay. But right now. So in addition to the public hearing, we have that brief meeting after the deliberative session right there in the auditorium. Right. Mm -hmm. Is it public? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, sure. Everything we do is public. Yeah. <coughs> you're going to go back to the Yes. You're going to go back and pick up any of these we didn't do. I'm it, sorry. We did a bunch. Once, no, we didn't once you prove the bottom line, Michael, that takes care of everything. Yeah. yeah. We, didn't, we didn't come tonight, though, is what I'm coming to We're going to bother to wait for Christy to come up with a number. You have it, Christy? I have your bottom line number. Give it to us. Okay. And I will trust that it's absolutely correct. Absolutely, I, I trust it. Absolutely. Let me say you would trust it. No, I do trust it. I hereby do trust Come Christy's on. number. Christy, let it to <laughs> the, the number, number. Please. 26, 836, I so move. Madam Chair, I would so move. Well, the number of twenty-six million eight hundred and thirty-six thousand nine hundred and seventy-seven dollars. Okay. I have a second. Okay. Well, Mr. Second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, give it to him. Oh, give it to him. He wants to let him have it. Oh, oh, oh I was going to say, really Mr. Care. Jones. It's, all right. Mr. LaBranche has moved, and Mr. Well, Lapham seconded. Yes. Excellent. Okay. In favor of the corrected total operating budget. Figure. Can we have a discussion before we vote? Well, well yeah, that's a good idea, Mike. That's, we, that's an interesting we, idea. We actually have a discussion before a vote. They're, they're yeah. running down. If you want to discuss, yes. I would like to make a motion to modify the number by, and decrease it by $519,000. Where? $519,000? Yes. Yeah, the amount paid off in debt. Yes. Oh. Because you can make that motion any second. You can get that number memorized. Yes. <laughs> I didn't. I have a lot of the numbers memorized. Do you mean, Michael, you just mean right off the top? Well, right off, you off mean the in top, the depth, right off, off the top. top. Right okay. The top. All right. Uh, does Mr. Who's Pierce that? have a second? 519,000. 
Mr. Mr. Morrow seconded. seconded. Okay. Do you want? Yeah. Well, side conversations. We can't be Trying talking. To help the secretary. Okay, but smile for a minute. Here. All right. Does anybody wish to discuss Mr. Pierce's motion reducing the total operating budget by five hundred and nineteen thousand dollars? Yeah. Let's just vote. There's no second. Well, there's two or three reasons. Because in, in uh, October we had a surplus anticipated at the end of the year of uh, roughly a million dollars. And then when we got to November, they said, oh, that's all horrible. That's not really true. It's only when we got to November, they said it was 700 and some thousand. But we, if you noticed on close examination, they paid the employee insurance twice in that month, which had never been done since at least going back to at least 2011. Okay, so what we have now is we're running a, along with a possible surplus of the year of a million dollars. And last year, <clears throat> we had more or less the same thing. If you remember correctly, we had a big chunk of money left over, and they, they encumbered a bunch of things right in the, the year. So based on that alone, plus the fact that the in debt service went down by half a million dollars, and which will probably go up if any of these war knuckles pass, will probably go up even more than it went down. I mean, I think it's only fair to the taxpayers if we try to keep spending under control and, and go right back to what they said. They're only going to increase the budget by 1.1%. I think that's a wonderful idea. So that's the selling point. Yes. Uh, Christy. Yes. What is the management's estimate for the uh, balance in 2016? In, I don't have any November financials, whatever was reported on the, if someone has their November financials with them. I haven't said December numbers yet. It's only the 5th of the month. But whatever I said in November, that's what it was. 736,000. And if you have, if you. 736,279,000. Double insurance payments? November. Yeah. It's Mike. possible that in November, the December payment may have been posted. We've never made double insurance. So that made her forecast November, go down. November, if I sometimes if I do not catch it, my staff will end up paying the December bill or the next month's bill because it's due on the first. I usually make sure we hold it so that it doesn't reflect on the November financials. There is a possibility. I do go back and look. But there's a possibility that the December health insurance bill was paid in November. That is possible. That was in a November finance report she gave us. So That's nice. correct. That might have been paid out of sequence, basically. It could have been paid out of right. sequence. I did. I won't say for sure because I don't have that in front she of me. She wouldn't so send a second been. check for that same bill. Would not send bill a second check for that. December. Is it possible that January will be paid? It December? is not because I just saw that in the bills for this week, and so it will have a January date. It was not paid in December. That one literally just came across my desk. Uh, I have a suggestion. Let yes, Mike sir. make that proposal at the deliberative session. See what happens. I'm making so, it to now. We can now. The budget committee can know the vote up or down. One more quick observation. Right. The um, 519,000 debt service was removed from the default, or has been removed, yeah. right? So that's accounted for in that area. Where do you propose to take the cut? Oh, we're not going to get into that. Well, he was Off doing the bottom a lot line. Of on the EMS report. Well, it has to pass this thing first, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're, you're, 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 all, you're all sufficiently disgusted there. So if I may call for a vote on Mike's motion, yes. what are you doing? Mike's motion? Uh, Mr. Barr. Barr? What? He seconded Mike's motion. We're going to vote on it. He made the second. Okay. I made the vote, too. Okay, you understand the intent of Mr. Pierce's motion. I moved the question. For the fifth time, yes. All right, Mr. Jones has moved the question, seconded by Mrs. Bridal? Yep. Excellent. Okay, in favor of moving the question? Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we moving? No. Why are we moving? She just kind of voted. You just seconded his. I know his. that. Let's just but vote. We're getting. Let's just vote. Yes. It's late. Bottom up. Question vote. No, no. Vote. no. Yeah. Mike's, Mike's motion. 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 Well, we discussed Mike's motion a little yeah. bit. Let's, let's, so let's, now, now you have to vote. And I seconded it. Yes. Let now, us right. vote on Mr. Pierce's motion now. All in favor of eliminating 519,000. The chairman has to ask for the vote. Please ask for the vote. I, I try. Sometimes I really try, Mr. LeBranch. Just ask. It's a good faith effort. 
Good. All right. Those in favor of the motion by Mr. Pierce to cut a lump sum off the bottom line of the 2017 operating budget in the amount of $519,000. In favor of that motion. Mr. Pierce, Mr. Marr, opposed? Okay, abstaining? Mr. Kravitz and Mr. Jones are abstaining. Did we get everybody? Mm -hmm. Can we vote now, Madam Chair? We just did, Steve. We did, we did. Oh, that was the motion from Mr. That Pierce. Was, we just voted on Mike's motion to reduce it by five hundred ninety. Right. Now we have to vote for the budget. We, we, we voted for the budget. budget. Yeah, you we made the motion to vote for it. No, wait, wait, wait. 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 Yeah, we did. No confusion. We did confirm the operating budget as approved by the budget committee, and then <laughs> Mr. Pierce's motion came in after that and it has not been passed. Okay, so, so we, we are standing on the amount that we approved yeah. for the totality of the 2017 budget. In that case, Madam Chair, I move to adjourn. At, At what time? I need the time. At 9.40 p.m. 9.40 p.m. Second p. Seconded by Mr. Kravitz. Before you do that, we might want to discuss, we're going to discuss our situation with our legal problem with this. Oh, no, yeah. let's just, no, we already decided she's going to go to the I'll meeting. I'll go and see the selectman on my day at some time or another. Oh, that's the grand we pay a $2,000 line. Okay. In favor of, of adjourning at 9.40 p.m. Unanimous. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you.